Today I'm showing you how you can download, install, and use a RustWist client from Minecraft Java Edition 1.20 and up. The first thing you want to do is head over to RustWist.net, um, and this will be linked at the very top of the description. And here you should be able to, you should be brought to their official website, and you just want to click on the download button here. And then you want to once again click on this light gray download button there again. As you can see, here it is in my downloads, and it does say free because this is a free version because, as you guys probably know, nowadays everything has a premium. Anyways, to get this to work, you will actually need a program called Java by Oracle. Most of you will already have this, but if you don't have it, then I will link it um, down in the, uh, in, in the description below. Um, this is the same program you need to run programs like Forge um, and other mods. So. As I said, most of you will probably already have it, and if you do have it, then you want to double click on that. And now sometimes when you double click on it, it doesn't work, and a way to get it to work then is to right click on this, go to open with, and then to select Java here, which is the program you need to have and I just told you guys about. Yeah, and you should just be able to do that by double click on it, clicking on it too. Anyways, this will bring you to the um, Ariswis installer, and what you can do is just click on continue over here, Choose your Minecraft version. Um, I'm just going to choose it for the current latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.20.1. If there are other versions available, then of course that is also fine. Um, and you can just, se just select the uh, vanilla launcher. Then, unless you have a specific other directory where you want to install it, you can just click on install right over here. And then it's done. There you go. You can close this up. Now, because this is just the installer, you can actually delete it. So now in the regular Minecraft launcher, here under the versions tab, um, you should see all the versions you have, including the um, Aristowis version that you just installed. So you can select that and then click on play. You will need to take the box that you understand the risk of playing modded Minecraft. However, they can just click on play. As you can see here, Minecraft has automatically started up, and here there's a, a few things telling you how to use the mod, and now I will also explain this to you. Um, you'll have to press continue a few times over here, they're just advertising it for their own stuff, um, obviously, I mean, who can blame them, right? As I said, continue a few times, and now here we are on the Minecraft home screen. Um, what you can do is just go to single player or multiplayer, of course, these are all the regular buttons just relocated. Um, I'm quickly going to briefly just show you how, guys how to use it, um, just through here and if you want a really in-depth tutorial on how to use this then let me know down in the comments and I will make that. Most of this stuff however should be pretty self-explanatory as you can see they're already saying um, press right shift to open the GUI so we can do that and um, as you can literally see here it is um, literally telling you how to do it so that's very useful of course. Anyways here you have the GUI um, you can select things and deselect them. So if they are colored, like with this light green color, it means they have been selected. And um, you can just click on them to select them. If you hover above the, all of these different options that you can select, they'll all give you a brief description. And you can even search for stuff as well. Um, anyways, that is basically how to use this. Um, and as I said, it should mostly be pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, for right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!